When a customer's production is down, they're losing profits and potentially future orders. And our customer service group understands that and is designed to bring the customer back up to speed as soon as possible. It starts with the customer service group who will then transfer the call to the appropriate technical support representative. As soon as the customer is on the phone with the technical support representative, it'll then be decided if a service visit's necessary and then the call will be transferred to field service. So from customer service to field service, that's how our team gets the customer back up to speed. You have a serial number for that metal detector. And what's the problem that you're having with that unit? As the first person that a customer talks to when they call into Thermo Fisher Scientific, it's my job to make sure that I can take down their information and get them in touch with the appropriate service technician as quickly as possible. Customers will call us uh, over the 800 number, either call me directly or through the customer service group. Make sure the wait table is empty, and then you're gonna wait until that progress bar completes. Uh, they might have a parts identification problem, or they might have a troubleshooting problem. The you know, system might be down, and we try and get them up and running as quickly as possible so that they won't have to uh, wait to have a field service engineer come out uh, because they can't afford to be down. Um, time is money. They're under a lot of pressure. We understand that, and we want to help them get going as quickly as possible. If technical support can't resolve their issues over the phone, I'll then give the customer a call. We'll make plans for me to get on site, make sure parts are appropriated, and make sure that maintenance knows that I'm coming. Once the machine's back up and running, we we'll want to make sure that production's perfect, and we want to make sure that the units are operating correctly. After that, I'll always go through with the customer and make sure that they're well trained on the equipment, that they understood why the issue happened in the first place, and so it won't happen again.